Hi, my name's Rod and this is the Orca Boat Shop. I'm going to be starting a new boat in the shop and it's going to be the 11 foot 9 acorn dinghy but there's going to be a few modifications to it. So let's go take a look at the plans and see what we're going to be doing in modifying this little design in a more traditional method. Here are the plans. I purchased these from a wooden boat store. The design is actually uh, drawn by Ian Utrid and he sells them either through his own website or through wooden boat. So we've got the uh, page one, a little additional page here on making oars, spoon oars. I don't know if I'll be doing that or not. We've got the line drawings table of offsets. So this is 11 foot 9 beam of 3 feet 11 inches. The scale on this is 1 to 8 or 1 and a half inches equals 1 foot. Got the construction page with all the details, all the uh, list of materials. So this boat is originally designed or is intended to be built a uh, glue lap. So that would be plywood with uh, lapping joints in which they're glued. But the customer would like this done in the traditional method of uh, cedar planked steam bent frames and it all is going to be all bright work. So this is a little sailing dinghy as well and uh, we're going to let the customer choose what si kind of uh, style of sail rig so we can do a sprit rig standing lug or gunter rig i do believe he's looking i think he's considering probably the standing lug it's the easiest to sort of put up and down on your own got all the details for the sail plan and the nice thing is i mean i could loft it out but it all comes in all full size uh, drawings for all of those molds the first thing i'll be taking on will be to setting up the strong back I'm going to make it super sturdy uh, because from the lumber that is left over from building the stand, I'm going to have some other uses for it. So let's get to this. Plans come with uh, you know the, the acorn skiff uh, materials list. And if one was doing it out of marine plywood, it calls for three sheets of 4x8, 3 16 marine plywood. But within the traditional method, there is an, uh, an extra page here for building in traditional method. It's going to be in 5 16 cedar planking. Um, now, of course, uh, some of these things can be modified. But in here, you know, silicone bronze fastening, but all the planking in the glue lap would be glued together with a west epoxy or any marine epoxy. But I'm going to be uh, uh, steam bending some frames in here and the frames and the planking will all be copper, copper riveted. The customer has also asked for all of the trim to be in mahogany. So uh, it's time to go and look at uh, you know, what materials I've got on hand here. Unfortunately, I had just bought a whole pile of mahogany because I had was considering building the little Ken Douglas rowboat and I have planking left over from previous projects that when ordered and, and cutting, I'd cut enough planking for about three or four boats. So I'm well supplied at this point for the materials on uh, building this uh, little skiff. Now that you know what I'm building, let's go look at some of the materials that I have on hand for uh, actually building this boat. So I'm gonna go over here to my uh, lumber pile that I have in the shop here. Now I've had this outside for several years. It's been under tarps and all, but I brought it in to give it a bit of a good drying. I've stickered it up and it's gonna sit here for you know two or three weeks while I construct other things. But we've got some really nice uh, half inch thick edge grain, perfectly clear cedar boards. Now some of them here are not gonna be long enough. I do have some that are probably uh, 12 feet long, but the majority of them here are probably eight or nine. So I will be having to do a bit of scarfing on some of these cedar planks. The nice thing is, is that these cedar planks all came from the exact same uh, log. Uh, you can sort of tell by some of the edges in here that this uh, rough edge here matches the rough edges down here. So we can book match some of this planking and when needing to scarf them together, 
I can uh, match the you know the color so that it's not so obvious. And down behind here, I have a nice pile of, uh, of African mahogany, which will be all the trim. And with this short introduction, I really do hope that you'll join me in, uh, throughout this build. I do hope to sort of put a video out. I don't know if it's going to be every week. It'll just kind of uh, uh, more relate to sort of what gets accomplished and what makes sense to put a video out. But do consider being a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button up the corner there or down or wherever it's showing up on the screen. And uh, we shall see you as the next episode will begin the build. Thanks for that. Bye for now.